I just hit 45k on my TikTok. So I'm just listening to Promises by, um, I think this is Maverick City, but another one that I've been loving is, I've been loving this one. It's called Fear Is Not My Future. It's a really long song, so it's perfect when you're going to do a quick cleanup and basically that's what I'm about to do in this room real quick before I do my nails. sick we try to keep the medicine stash out just so that it's easy to get so basically it's going to be a quarantine type of thanksgiving for us but i wanted to show you guys my hair so i think i'm going to start doing this is like i did like a little twist like a quick a quick little like twist on both sides for like an hour or two and it gave my hair like some really nice waves so i wonder how it would look if i do it overnight so i think i'm gonna try it honestly Ooh, I sound so congested. Anyway, tonight, babe and I are going to have a little date night. Once the girls go down for bed, it'll be a little date night in. He got some food, which the food is over there. And it's already picked up and everything. So I don't even know what he brought yet because I told him I wanted to be a surprise. I am going to get in the shower. And then I will talk to you guys back once it's time for us to eat after we put the girls down. The girls love watching these little monkeys. And they're so cute. They just do the most human things and they love it. Why would they put it on there though? And Why is this clean? Yeah, I know. Something ain't right. Okay guys, so I did my nails. Let me pick you guys up and show you what they're looking like i just went with that little basic white just did a nice little milky white color and there we go. and then this is the other hand we're about to get our food let's see well i already guessed i already guessed you did <laughs> i already guessed what it was which is crazy because at first i was like hmm, i hope he didn't get something new yeah. <laughs> something that we don't usually eat but, I can't do that with your pinky behind. Uh, all right, let's get our food ready. The girls are down. I'm hungry. Is your appetite still ruined? I had chips, cheese sticks, popcorn, and a Coke Zero, but I think I can still shove up the whole plate down. Oh, my goodness. He was supposed to save his appetite. I feel like this is like a scene from Love is Blind right now. Yeah. They just throw it in there. What's this? some platano sweet plantains so this is what i'm having and it's just some white fish with some white rice and then what are you having i'm having breaded steak with the white rice and black beans like you where's your steak though and outside Remember? yeah oh yeah we could do the projector no i'm okay <laughs> so we have a projector and i think do you want to set it up or would you rather just watch like this one yeah, it's 8.43. Where's my phone at? Hmm? 8.43 right now, and we have to pop this food into the air fryer. So, yeah, basically, we're just not going to do the projector, but we typically do because it's just a nice little vibe to do the projector. Something different. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, we're going to warm up our food, and then let's eat. Mm -hmm. I think I already said it earlier, and, like, when I started the vlog, I was telling them that when anyone's sick in the house, Especially if it's more than two, 
like right now, three of us are sick in the house, both of our daughters and me. And we always take our medicine stash out and put it here just for easy access because otherwise it'll be in our drawer. But I'm about to take my medicine and the food is still in the air fryer. And <coughs> when, you, when I had those body aches, I was feeling terrible. I had like, I was feeling like garbage. And when you gave me that medicine, it completely took away my body aches. Like, like my body pain, my back pain. It felt like I was about to go into labor. That's how much pain I was in. It was really bad. Like, it felt like labor back pain, you know? Yeah. That was wild. Yeah, but normally medicine doesn't work too well for me. Yeah. Especially if it's like... like hair flu Yeah, they're um, take their food out of that package. Oh. Woo! Right. The plate, the bowl's hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, I wonder if after that Chris Rock slap, if people started doing the same thing we do where we use the same, like, dang, dang. I well, can't even do it because my throat. Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> but that was Kevin Hart when he did the interview. Oh, yeah, it was Kevin Hart. So after I got ready a little bit, um, I was like, you know what, let me formally introduce myself to the vlog because yesterday I started the vlog at night um, and it's the next day, it's Thanksgiving. So wherever you're watching from, I just want to say happy late Thanksgiving because this is going to be uploaded probably like a week or two after Thanksgiving just because I have other vlogs um, that need to come out and I want you guys to be up to date and like the timeline to be accurate when I post vlogs. So happy late Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoyed, whether it was by yourself or with your family. And I want to say good morning, good afternoon, or good night. Whatever time zone you're watching this from, thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, my throat is still feeling very much raspy, and um, but it doesn't hurt to talk, which is why I'm able to vlog, so that's at least good. But yeah, the girls, um, I've given them their dose of medicine. Their appetite is not all the way there, so they haven't eaten yet, but they're probably going to eat later. Um, and then husband actually started feeling ill last night when we went to bed. So he's kind of like down right now, just getting some rest. So hopefully he can wake up and at least, you know, have an appetite to have Thanksgiving dinner. We are all basically sick, so we're not going to go to the store to get a turkey or a ham. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to make the chicken that I have here with some baked mac and cheese and some mashed potatoes. And then I have pumpkin pie that I got from Sam's Club in the last vlog. So today's Thursday. Um, and I haven't been to the gym since last week. Um, but I actually hit my all time lowest in my weight, which I hit 148. I haven't been 148 since like four years ago. I've been on my muscle building journey. Last year, this time I was like 185. So I have been like I'm seeing a lot of progress, but it's very slow and steady. I've been basically very, very consistent on my journey. And I'm very thankful to the Lord for that because it's God who gives me the ability to do these things. Um, but I want to go ahead and before I take you guys with me downstairs, I want to read a verse of the day. So the verse of today is going to be an OG, which is Proverbs 5. Um, sorry, Pro it's going to be Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. For whatever season that you're in right now, life is not going to be easy. Just because your life isn't easy doesn't mean that God is not present in your life. So just remember that when we are weak, when we have those really hard times, maybe in our marriages, in our relationships, maybe even with ourselves, our mental health, just know that in our weakness, God is strong. And that's where our testimony comes from. Because if everything was always good, 
then God wouldn't be able to show you how he can come in and totally transform situations. So remember that in this life, we're going to have heartaches, we're going to have suffering, but in our weakness, God is strong. Let's go downstairs. I am going to, I have to put, I have to put my coffee away, my bulk coffee, and um, I'm trying to keep it quiet. Oh, you guys want to see Caillou? Okay. First, I need a nice cup of water. The days have been extremely gloomy with no sun, so I don't get the best lighting. I'm just now getting into this whole vlogging thing. Um, if you are new here, I am a wife and mommy and homeschooler and I'm obsessed with the gym and I love vlogging and I love creating so follow me on all my social media and yeah basically I do this for fun I don't do this for any other reason I've always had a passion for making videos and content so that's what I do this for so I would love to have you join the family my coffee for the week I'm just gonna store this in the fridge and yeah, it actually lasts me a little over a week. So I'm about to make a nice little smoothie. But I want to show you guys, I got this idea from, uh, I think her name is Milena. Yeah, it looks messy because I have to get them different bowls. But basically, you just put the bowls in arm's reach for your kids. So when they want a snack, you just grab their own like silverware and grab their own bowls for their snacks or for their meals. It kind of just helps them uh, to teach them independence. So I actually wanted to shout you guys out on TikTok. So I have two TikToks. This is my backup account. And then I have my main account, which is which is the Erica RxO. And I just hit 45K. Let me see if I can adjust this. I just hit 45K on my TikTok. And I'm so excited. And basically on this TikTok, all I do is just share my faith um, and some things that I've been learning through my journey with the Lord and definitely join that TikTok if you want to I have my other TikTok which I'm going to start posting um, some lifestyle content um, but I want to make sure that I'm not posting everything I post on YouTube because I want you guys to know that if you're on this YouTube platform you're going to get a lot of stuff that is not going to be on the other platforms so I figured that is the point right instead of posting the same thing on all three platforms so I guess whatever fits your fancy you can follow me on that platform but yeah, I'm so excited. I hit 45K and it just, I haven't been focused on growing. I've just been focused on sharing my faith on that TikTok. But it's just so crazy how the Lord has just taken that TikTok and he's just expanded it. And I'm almost at half a million likes, which is just like amazing. That just shows you how many people um, have seen the videos that are talking about the Lord and hit the like button on it. Almost half a million likes, that is that is an accomplishment. And I just wanna thank the Lord publicly for everything that he's done in my life and everything that he has allowed in my life. All right, time to make a smoothie. is the yogurt that I use for my protein um, smoothies. situated they want to paint coca melon so just trying to find some things to just keep them entertained because it is kind of boring being sick um and not being able to really do anything so just gonna do that well do you guys want to paint in the table yeah. well actually in the kitchen okay 
All right, so this is the little setup for them to color. They like to color on the floor. So the girls finished their coloring. This one is my youngest and then our oldest. And then now they're gonna do bluey. Time to start cooking. All right, so I'm about to bread the chicken. That's what we're working with right now. And then I used almond flour. I'm not making a lot because the girls don't eat chicken sometimes they do but sometimes they don't so everybody's just gonna have two really wish that we at least had corn because that would be fire with this meal Just gotta peel the potatoes and then we are right on track. So good. Time to have some dinner. I just have to serve myself and the girls, but this is how it turned out. We're about to make some cookies with this cookie dough and look at how yummy this looks. So good. Ooh, cookies are done. Ooh, yum. Did the stair rail all the way going up and I attached the little bulbs to it. This is what it looks like with the light on. That came out really pretty. Babe got a new haircut. Yes, I did. It is a new day, actually maybe like two days later since we were sick. We are feeling a little bit better. Hopefully today we actually wanted to probably go walk along the um, along the beach bridge or something like that. But yesterday I had a full hair day and I tried this new method of twisting my hair. And I think I'm going to do a video on it because it came out really nice. It really came out like defined and everything, but the roots are still laying down, which is what I like because my hair starts getting a little bit more voluminous and frizzy along the week. For about two years, I just really was not taking care of my hair like I used to on my YouTube channel. Um, so I've been started to take care of my hair again, just doing the deep conditioning and all that stuff again. Um, only thing I think I kept up with my hair was trims. Um, but yeah, so basically I am about to start trying to do something for my skin because I feel like my skin is very simple, but I think a lot of what I eat affects my skin as well. I get a lot of the little bumps and then I get period acne, which is also, I mean, understandable, but it's just the little bumps that I get when I'm not on my period that aggravate me because I'm just like... All right, what's what's happening? Like, how is this? Why does this keep happening? So basically, I've been learning more about my type of skin, learning more about what's going to help my scars and things like that. So, so far, what I've learned is not to frequently wash your face, especially if you struggle with oily skin, because the more you strip your skin of its natural oils, the more oil it's going to produce. So if you have oily skin, you actually don't want to wash as frequent, which really it's kind of like you would think about that as like reversed in your head it's like okay no if your skin is oily you need to wash it more but it's actually the complete opposite according to experts <laughs> so that's what I've been doing and uh, basically I don't wash my face in the morning anymore just at night and I've been using let me show you guys let me pick you guys up real quick 
This is the product that I picked up yesterday. It's the CeraVe. I forget what it's called. Let me zoom it in here. So this is the one that I picked up. And I think this product is going to really help because this product, I've been hearing people talk about it for so, so, so many years. Y'all, I am just in awe right now at how my hair turned out. It looks so so good wanted to show you guys the tree because so far I don't have any lights yet but I wanted to do the lights um, white but I think I'm just gonna do colored lights so this is what the tree is looking like looking really pretty so I fluffed her really really well let me know if you guys liked my reset with me video I actually love filming those videos so I think I'm going to be doing the reset with me videos for like throughout my channel because I actually reset quite a bit throughout the month. So yeah, hubby's feeling a lot better. He's feeling A1 and um, he got his hair cut. It actually looks better on this lighting. Turn to the side. Yeah, he's trying to grow out his beard and the guy kind of like shaved a lot off, but... Every he... time I go to a new barber, <laughs> I'm trying to grow it out, just fade it at the top, and leave it alone, don't even... nothing. Mm. Here they come. Mm. <laughs> Every single time, bro. It's stupid. But it's okay, it'll grow back. So at least he didn't go far because when I turned my head, the guy was already cutting here. And when I turned around, I said, are you going to tell him you're growing out your beard? And he, like, already had cut off. Like, all of this was really fuzzy Bruh, and I long. I told him I'm growing out the beard. <laughs> Only line it up right here. Here he comes, trying to be fade master. He was probably just in his zone or something, and he yeah. was just like, yeah. He was like, oh, this will look good. But he's going to be going back to this guy because he does my husband's type of hair so good. He fades it really, really nicely. So He's a fade master. Yeah, he's a fade master. Are you hungry right now? Or do you want to eat later? You're hungry? Because I was about to make some hot... I'll have a hot dog in the air fryer. I'm about to chop it up with some onions and eggs and do like a little taco thing. I don't know if you want some of that. You know what I find so crazy is that you we carry on with life, but... As soon as something happens with our health, we have to stop. And it's funny that nobody really takes their health serious until they don't have health. Until they're, they're, they're sick or they're feeling unwell and then the whole world stops, right? So that's why health and wellness is really important. And at least to me, and I, we try to ingrain it into our kids, even though they're super picky eaters. But, you know, as they get bigger, we're definitely, you know, they see me, they know I go to the gym. So they're going to have that implemented into their life in some way shape or form and then my husband is going to start training too so yeah health and wellness is just the way to go because ultimately you can have all the money all the materialistic things but if you don't have your health if you don't feel good in the body that you're in what is the point so that's my little spiel on health and wellness now i'm gonna make some food but I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I'm going to go ahead and end it here because I have a really, really good idea for a vlog for next week. So you guys stay tuned to my channel. Make sure that you subscribe, like, comment, follow me on all my other social medias. I talk more about my faith on TikTok, so definitely follow me on there. I'm almost at half a million likes on TikTok. That is wild. And then on Instagram, I just like to post different reels and stuff, so... Let me know any ideas for skincare that I should try, um, for hyperpigmentation, any of those things that I talked about in this vlog. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. Bye.